George W. Vanderbilt was an avid reader and collector of books. He kept 10,000 volumes in this library room alone, along with this chess set of his that once belonged to Napoleon Bonaparte. For some people, though, less is more. Here's Richard Schlesinger. I hope these are organized by Herr Biesenbach. Hi. Richard Schlesinger. If you ever visit Klaus Biesenbach at home, don't bring him anything. Uh, wow. This is, uh, something. His New York apartment is an homage to minimalism. I think I'm not into decoration, and I think I take objects very seriously. There are no objects here. Look around. One bedroom, one bath, three chairs and a bed. Oh, and a TV. That's it. And that's fine with Biesenbach. An object has its time, has its place, have to be perfectly placed and perfectly chosen. You see this seal, of course, is broken and had to be broken. They all have he gets his fill of objects, putting them in their perfectly chosen places during the work day. Here's another one, you see, with the nail is too close. He's a curator at the Museum of Modern Art, and he could teach a thing or two about contrast. His apartment is almost all black and white except for the occasional unwelcome bouquet. Look at those flowers now. I look at them and I think splash of color. You I look thought at them and you somebody love. thought, how could I provoke Klaus? And you successfully did that. <laughs> did, it, did it provoke you? A little bit, yeah. Are the flowers in the right place now? I actually don't care. <laughs> you don't care at all? I'm provoking you, though. Yeah. But there is life and color and movement just outside this place, through the windows, where the daily chaos of New York plays 24-7. So who needs art on the walls? I think the windows are basically the pictures. I often come home at night and I don't switch on the light because the view outside the city, I think you can't compete with that anyways. And if Biesenbach wants clutter, he has his patio, relatively crowded with a table and chairs, uh, even some it, plants, it, it, and a bed. You sleep on this? Sure. No, it's kind he of. He sleeps out here when before. he can, kind on of. his porch, his perch, he where he can be a part of the city place. while still being apart from it. I gave up competing with the city. What shall I do inside to be more entertaining, more spectacular than what you see outside? This emptiness, this lack of design, didn't happen by design. It was an accident. Klaus Biesenbach is a very busy man. Too busy to do much with this place when he moved in two years ago. And I realized, wow, I actually like that. So now I'm a little hesitant to end that perhaps ideal situation for me. I really like it, so and that's, I know that I'm excusing myself, but I'm just delaying ending that situation. Credit delay or credit design, but Biesenbach's apartment was recently in a magazine spread. And he's apparently never been a fan of furniture or decoration. Before he was a curator, he visited Britain and stayed in a guest house, which he remembers paring down a bit. I think I was 18 or 19 and I took the, all the curtains off. And I remember it was a very small little pension and they were like really upset about it. Do you understand them being upset or? Yeah, and I, I also apologize. I didn't mean to whatever say I don't like you. I didn't mean to say I don't like your flowers. I didn't mean to say I don't like your curtains. <laughs> the flowers were a faux pas. Exactly the wrong thing to give the man who has nothing.